Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our 12th lesson on a given form 4 mathematics topic called differentiation. So we are looking at our 18th example, which is a past KCC question tested in 206, paper 1, question number 24. It reads that a particle moves along a straight line such that its displacement s meters from a given point is s is equals to t cubed minus 5t squared plus 3t plus 4, where t is uh, the time in seconds. Find part of the question, the displacement of the particle at t is equals to uh, 5. So of course, in part A, we are simply going to substitute uh, the value of t in the given uh, equation of displacement. So we are told that the displacement s is given by uh, t cubed, then of course a uh, minus a uh, 5t squared, then plus 3t, then plus 4. So in part A, they want us to find the value of the displacement when the time is 5 seconds. So we'll say uh, s when t is equals to a uh, 5 will be equal to, so we'll have a uh, 5 cubed. So we are simply substituting where there is t, we substitute with 5, then minus 5 into uh, 5 uh, squared, then of course plus uh, 3 into our t is 5, then plus uh, 4. So this will be equal to 5 cubed, uh, we're going to get 125, then of course uh, minus uh, 5 into 5 squared, that is uh, 25, then plus 3 by 5, that is 15, then of course plus 4. So this will be equal to 125, uh, then minus 5 by 25, we'll see, we are still going to get uh, 125, then plus uh, 15, then of course plus 4. Of course 125 minus 125 will give us 0, so we'll end up with uh, 0 plus 15, then of course plus 4. So this will give us uh, 19 meters as our uh, displacement when the time t is equal to 5 seconds. Then we check part B of uh, the question whereby we are told to find the velocity of the particle when t is equals to 5. So to get the velocity, of course, we'll find for the formula connecting the velocity v and the given equation, which is the displacement s. Remember from the previous lesson, we said that the velocity is given by the change in displacement divided by the change in at uh, the time taken. Therefore, this will be equal to, we'll take d over dt, then of course into our s, the equation for s is given as this one here. So we'll have uh, v being equal to ds dt, but our s is a t cubed, then minus a 5t squared, then plus a 3t, then of course plus a 4. So this one means that our v will be equal to, remember whenever there is a division with the dt, this one is telling you to uh, differentiate, but whenever there is a multiplication by dt, that one will be telling you to integrate, as we shall see in uh, more examples later. So this one is telling us to differentiate because you are dividing by a dt. So I'm going to differentiate uh, the given equation here. So if I differentiate uh, t cubed, of course the 3 will pre multiply the coefficient. So we'll have 3 uh, t to the power of 3, then we subtract 1 from the power. I differentiate the second term, the 2 will pre multiply with the coefficient. So I'll have minus 5 uh, multiplied by 2 uh, t to the power of 2, I subtract 1 from the power. This one means it was t power 1. I differentiate the 1 will pre multiply with the coefficient, so I'll have plus 3 multiplied by 1 t power 1 minus 1. Then of course this one means it was uh, t power 0. So I differentiate, this will be 4. Of course the 0 will pre multiply with the coefficient. So multiply by 0, t power 0 minus 1. So on simplification, uh, this is what I'm gonna uh, get. That is when I simplify. So I'll get my v uh, being equal to, I can work it out from uh, this end. So v uh, will be equal to, so of course this will give me 3t power 2, so I'll have uh, 3t uh, squared, 
This one will give me negative 10 t power 1. So I'll have negative 10 uh, t to the power of 1. Then this will give me 3 t power 0. So plus uh, 3 t power 0. Then of course 0 multiplied by anything, you are going to get 0. But remember t power 1, uh, that is t power 0, will give you 1. Uh, any number power 0 is 1. So this will be v is equals to uh, 3t squared, then minus 10, uh, t power 1 is the same as saying t, then of course plus 3, t power 0 is 1, then of course plus 0. So our v will be equal to 3t squared, then minus uh, 10t, then of course plus 3. Therefore, this is our formula for the velocity. But the question does not want the formula for the velocity. The question wants the velocity of the particle when t is equals to 5. Therefore, v when t is equals to 5 uh, will be equal to where there is t will substitute with the 5. So this will be 3 uh, into uh, 5, then of course squared, minus 10 into uh, 5, then of course plus uh, 3. So this will be equal to uh, 3 into uh, 5 squared, that is uh, 25, then minus 10 by 5, that will be 50, then of course plus a 3. So this will be equal to 3 by 25, that is the 75, uh, minus a 50, then of course plus 3, which will be equal to 75 minus 50, that is the 25, then plus 3. So this will give us 28. This is velocity, therefore it is in meters per second. Therefore, that will be the velocity of the particle when t is equal to 5. We check part C of the question whereby we are being told to find the value of t, that is the values of t when the particle is momentarily at rest. Remember we said that at rest, uh, when the particle is at rest, the velocity which is equal to a change in displacement of a change in time must always be equal to zero. Therefore it means that the velocity of which we already have its equation uh, the equation for velocity is this one here, 3t squared. So we have 3t squared, then minus uh, 3t squared minus 10t plus 3, minus 10t uh, plus 3 must be equal to 0. That is whenever the particle is at rest. Therefore, on picking the second part of the equation, clearly we are having what we call a quadratic equation. Therefore, I'm going to copy it. So I'm having a uh, 3t squared, then minus a uh, 10t, then plus 3 being equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus uh, bx, then plus c is equals to 0. So clearly the value of a will be equal to 3, then the value of b will be negative 10, and the value of c will be positive uh, 3. Therefore, our product, which is always AC, will be equal to our A is 3, C is 3, so this is 9. Then the sum is usually the value of B, which clearly will be negative 10. So by 3, this will be 3, then of course 3, 1. So I need two numbers. When I multiply, I get um, 9, but when I add, I get uh, negative uh, 10. Of course, the numbers will be 9 and 1. So I'll pick this one, 9 and uh, 1. So this will be, my numbers are 9 and 1, but uh, for me to get a sum of negative 10, I need a negative here and another negative here. Negative 9 times negative 1, you'll get a positive 9. Then of course, negative 9 minus 1, you'll get negative uh, 10. So my equation was uh, 3t squared, then of course minus a 10t, then plus 3 is equals to 0. So I'm simply going to substitute the value of b, uh, which is this value here. So this will be uh, 3t squared, then plus negative 10. I substitute it with my factors, which are negative 9 and negative 1. Then, of course, I continue with the equation t, then plus 3 is equals to 0. So this will be uh, 3t squared, then, of course, minus a 9t, uh, then minus 1t then plus 3 is equals to 0. So I'm going to factor out, that is um, to combine the factors. So here I'm having uh, this part here, the common factor of course will be 3 
uh, t. So I'll have 3t into uh, t, then minus, uh, if I take 9t divided by 3 uh, t, I'm going to get uh, 3. Of course, the t and t will cancel out. Uh, 9 over 3, you'll get 3. Then here I'll factor out negative uh, 1. So I'll have negative 1 into, uh, this will be positive t, then of course minus uh, 3 being equal to 0. So this will be 3t minus 1, uh, then into uh, t minus uh, 3, which is equal to 0. So it means either uh, either uh, 3t minus 1 is equal to 0, which implies that uh, 3t is equal to 1. So clearly t will be equal to a third. That is whenever you divide through uh, by uh, 3. Or t minus 3 is equal to 0. That is the second bracket. Therefore, clearly t will be equal to 3. So they wanted the values of t um, when the particle is momentarily at rest. So we'll say that t is equal to uh, a third seconds, a third seconds, and the second value of t will be a uh, 3 seconds. So those are the values of uh, uh, t whenever the particle was momentarily at rest. Then we look at uh, part D of the question, whereby you are being told uh, to find the acceleration of the particle whenever t is equal to uh, 2. So in part D, they want us to get the acceleration. The formula connecting acceleration and velocity, of course, is acceleration is equal to uh, dv dt, that is change in velocity over change in time. Of course, the a will be equal to a uh, change in velocity, but you already have the equation for velocity, uh, which was uh, this one here. The V was equal to 3T squared uh, minus uh, 10T, then of course plus uh, 3. Therefore, it means that our A will be equal to, so whenever you are dividing with the DT, this one is telling you to uh, differentiate. Uh. So we'll differentiate this part of the equation. So this will be, of course, uh, the two will pre-multiply with the coefficient. So this will be 3 uh, multiplied by 2 at t to the power of 2. You subtract 1 from the power. Then, of course, minus a 10. This one means it was a power 1. So the 1 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So we'll have negative 10 multiplied by 1. Uh, then, of course, t to the power of 1 minus 1. This one means it was t power 0. So the 0 will pre-multiply the coefficient to give us a 3 times 0 t power 0 minus 1. So our a will be equal to uh, 3 by 2, that is uh, 6, t to the power of 2 minus 1, I'll get a 1, then minus 10, that is negative 10 times 1, then t power, 1 minus 1 is 0, then of course plus, this one multiplied by 0, the final answer will be 0. So a will be equal to uh, 6t, then minus, t power 0 is 1, so this will be a uh, minus 10 multiplied by 1, then plus 0. So this will disintegrate into a is equals to a uh, 6t, then minus a uh, 10. So that is uh, the formula for our acceleration. But they want the value of the acceleration when t is equals to a uh, 2 seconds. Therefore, we'll say acceleration when t is equals to a uh, 2 seconds will be given by uh, the 6 into 2, then of course minus 10. So this will be equal to 6 by 2, that is a uh, 12 minus 10 which is going to give us uh, 2. Of course, the unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Therefore, that is the acceleration of the particle whenever t is equal to 2 seconds. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind to Shon Academy. Thank you very much.